Well, a fungus is slowly spreading over North Texas that's killing oak trees in area neighborhoods. It's commonly known as oak wilt. Now, all of us have to work together to keep this incurable disease from spreading even more. Jeff Ray has this week's Gardening 101. This area in Fort Worth is called Red Oaks. Oak wilt showed up here about 20 years ago. It's just the perfect storm. You have so many live oaks and so many red oaks. The fungus can kill a century old red oak in as little as four weeks. That is what happened here. Red oaks are highly susceptible to oak wilt. And that's when you get live oaks and red oaks in one area together. That's when you get kind of that huge outbreak, big mortality pattern of oak wilt. What was once an impressive canopy over the houses and streets of this upscale neighborhood now has entire yards devoid of trees. About one in five live oaks can survive oak wilt, but they won't stop the spread. In an urban setting like this, where you have live oaks in everybody's front yard, it just slowly creeps down the street. About 75 to 100 foot a year, it moves through that root system. Meanwhile, red oaks die off quickly from the disease. To keep oak wilt from spreading, this is the month to finish your pruning. Pruning at this time of the year, that's what we want to do. This is the best time to prune. February 1 to the end of June, you stop pruning in Texas. Repeat, January is the last month to prune oak trees. After that, the insects that can spread the disease start to move through the canopy. Pruning helps keep the disease at bay by removing any limbs that are rubbing against each other and getting rid of dead branches. So pruning is important. Just get it done by the end of January. Any prune cuts need to be painted to keep that insect from getting in. Oak wilt is here in North Texas. We all have to work together to minimize the casualties. Jeff Ray, Gardening 101. To learn how to spot the symptoms of oak wilt, just visit our website, CBSDFW, for a link to this story. There is a treatment for live oaks that can sometimes save the tree if it's treated early enough.